right, let's continue. Vinci, we are now on our second session for reception and office admin. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about um, the various departments and organization. You can do reception in the, like when you are gonna admit, at the reception area, but you can also be a reception in various departments, especially like a big company. There will be um, offices, like before they get to certain offices, there will be someone to receive them. So you have to have an idea of the various departments where you can be assigned. First of which is the managing director, general manager, finance manager, operations manager, sales, marketing manager, purchasing manager, and HR manager. That means this department, you can be their reception. In big corporations or big companies, that could be the setup. Like in certain departments, there will be someone to receive before they get to the office. Um, probably you've been to... Uh, like in the hospital, there will before you get to the department, there will be someone to receive you there. Someone will get your paperwork, your documents. So that could be your task, okay? First of which is finance department or accounts handles the bookkeeping for a business during the fiscal year. All revenue expenses and company equality are tracked by accounting department. Track, rep, tracks accounts payable so that all clients are paid for services or products. Typically prepare income statements or cash flow statements, general ledgers and balance sheets for the company. So this could be your task. So you need to have an organizational skill, familiarity with MS Office, Excel probably. Do you know how to use Excel? You know, do you know how to use Microsoft Excel? Uh, so you have to have that idea to use it. Um, definitely in the department, you will be given trainings. You will be given trainings on how to um, use the tools that you are using in the department, okay? Various department organizations, we have the sales department. Sales departments are needed in companies that sell retail and wholesale items to other business or consumers. Sales departments coordinate their sales force to build customer relationships, meet re particular revenue goals, and pitch new products. Sales department using push method usually instruct their sales force to call, email, or visit prospective customers. So it's important that you also have an idea on how sales department work because you could be their, their reception or at a company that offers sales. You could be their reception. People will come in to your office uh, say, for example, you are a reception for a um, beauty product company. Yes. So, hi, good morning. My name is Vinci. Uh, who are you looking for? And then the reception, uh, then the guest would say um, they're looking for um, a partner where they can deliver their product. They're, uh, they're a supplier from the UK. Yeah. So your 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 role there is to greet them, offer them probably tea, water, and um, knock or put it in the details of mm -hmm. your guests, right? If they have to log in or probably put in your records, right? That could be your job. Uh, do you like water, tea? Can I offer you something? It could be your task, right? You have to be friendly. You have to greet them with your smile. Yes? Next, marketing department. The marketing.
marketing and advertising department for a business is responsible for developing product, packaging, pricing, and creative materials for informing potential customers of the company's offerings. So the marketing department plans, and then the sales department, they sell. Yeah. Marketing department, it says there like how the product looks like. Going back to our example, we are going to offer beauty products. And then uh, your marketing will be. Once again, um, sometimes the business um, would be offering services or products. The marketing is in charge of how the product will look like. How will be the uh, posters online would look like? Yes, um, that's their job. And then the sales department would be uh, the ones in charge in distribution, um, who will be the resellers. Do you use any beauty products? No? Cream, soap, lotion. Yes, see, lipstick. Let's say, for example, you're offering lipstick um, in your business, beauty product. Marketing team will think about um, the look of your lipstick. The influencer that they will help in marketing. Mm -hmm. The sales department will be the one to um, push it to the customers. Like, this lipstick is for um, summertime. This has... Um, sunscreen when you do use this uh, it will protect your skin from the harmful UV rays stuff like that right purchasing department raw bio raws materials spare parts services etc as required by the company or organization today's purchasing is often referred as the supply chain management and the purchasing department as a token of larger and more vital business growth. So they will be purchasing the raw materials or the supply chain management. Where do you think your dipsticks is made for? I mean, what is made from? Uh, maybe it's made out of um, certain materials from India. Lipstick, your lipstick. You have your lipstick with you. Show me. <laughs> you don't have it with you. Yes, it could be made from products from Sri Lanka, so or probably Korea. Yes. What products do you trust? You personally? Yes. Uh, what brand is that? Indian brand, yeah. See, because you trust that, maybe they would. Uh, that company, uh, they have a manufacturing company. The purchasing, the supply chain management in that company is in charge of buying the raw materials. So if you are a reception in the company that, uh, manufactures, you'd be the one to receive the invoices. You'd be the one to receive the um, documents for the delivery going out. Yes, that could be your task. Operations management, the function requires management of both the strategy and day-to-day -day production of goods and services. It involves the responsibility of ensuring the business operations are efficient in terms of using a few resources as needed in effective terms and meeting customers. You are part of the operations, um, the daily, the office, the office, you could be working there, the main um, people of the manpower of the company. Uh, maybe you could be in charge of their attendance. You could be in charge of document control. 
So this is in the operations. You have to be familiar with Microsoft Office skills. Various departments in the organization. This department provides the tool and ensure every department receives information at the right time and at the right place. This department works hard every day to update software. This is part of the IT department. Upgrade firewalls and manage voice over IPs and in general work to ensure that communication internally and externally never falters. So this is about the, your network. I mean, your Wi-Fi, it says your cybersecurity software, the tools that you use in the company. This is part of the IT department. Groupings in, okay. Communication skill is important, you know, because in a busy office, an administrator or a receptionist uses friendly communication to interact with a wide range of people. Frequently exchanging information about office operations, you may practice, you have to practice conflict resolution. You will definitely have to delegate work. All that adds up to a lot of communication, both written and verbal, all of which must be accurate, efficient, friendly, and professional at all times. See? It's true. You have to be friendly. You have to have a communication, um, yes, professional at all times. So how uh, can that be you personally? Um, should you be smiling all the time? Should you be um, approachable? I suggest yes. <laughs> because if you are in the reception if, and then you have like certain attitude, I think uh, you are the first person to uh, encounter the customer. And if you um, have that attitude, then they might, yes bad impression for the company. You're a representative of the company. English is the main language here, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to be familiar mm -hmm. of um, that kind of task. Yes? After that, we have organizational ability. A multitasker, he or she keeps himself organized as he can give his attention to keeping his boss organized. He knows how to manage a filing system, track incoming and outgoing correspondence, and coordinate the flow of paperwork around the office. Time management, organizational skills. If you are asked to do something, then that means that uh, you should have like, a timeline of when you are to finish certain tasks. Mm -hmm. If you come in there at eight o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you were tasked to check the attendance of everyone. You should have completed that before 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Check your email at nine o'clock until 10 a.m. You should have like replied some of them, mm -hmm. delegate the emails. 11 o'clock, you can start like during doing your filing. 12 o'clock, you will have your lunch. 1 o'clock, you will continue what you have left from the morning. And then uh, if there are some people to receive, uh, then you can like um, offer them something because usually meetings comes after lunch because in, in, a, in a corporate setup, people decide better if they had a good food. Yes, I mean, they just have eaten. They're happy when they have full stomach. Yeah. Time management, he or she must manage his own time and the time of his boss well. He uses an electronic calendar in an email program to set meetings for his boss to request others to attend and coordinate their responses. He responds to requests for his boss attendance and meetings. Time management is important. I just gave you earlier uh, the importance of time in the workplace. Technical oversight. An office environment has many kinds of equipment 
and property that an assistant uses or manages. He orders office supplies and repairs for equipment to keep in the office well equipped and stock for the staff. Yep, that's true. So those things you have to have a record as well. Technology skill. And an, an office administrator or receptionist works with office software programs, including spreadsheets, databases, and work processing and graphic presentation of software. Technology, yeah, that's why I really encourage you to be proficient with computer. But um, if you don't have computer yet, we have available computer here where I can give you your task to practice. Yeah. Written expression, he or she needs skills in standard written English and in some organizations, business English. Good writing skills will improve the quality of his correspondence, emails and memos, enable him to assist his boss with proofreading important documents. This is for the written expressions. It can be email, memos. Uh, you have to know how to create letters or to produce certain documents that will be asked from you. 